So um, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to solve this one by substitution, all right? So to solve by substitution, remember what we're going to do is we're going to substitute um, the value of one variable into that other variable in another equation. So here we have two separate equations. We have y equals 5x minus 8, and here we have 4x plus 3y equals 33. Now when using substitution, it's very important for you to want to solve or at least have one variable isolated. So what I can say is the value of y is equal to 4x minus 8. I know that's an expression, but what I can do now is instead of using this, instead of using y in the second equation, I can substitute in what my y equals in my other equation. Because remember, when we're talking about substitution, remember when we're, uh, we're talking about a system, our y and our x's are equal um, for both of those equations. You dropped that. You're welcome. I, I need, uh, thank you. I, you know, when I'm working on those things, I always forget when I drop things. <laughs> okay, so um, if you guys remember, when we were graphing our two lines, right, their intersection was when the y and the x were equal to each other. So these two equations, these y and x's are equal to each other, but you can say that this y is equal to is equal to 5x minus 8. So therefore, since this is equal to this, I could say this is equal to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in the new value. So therefore, I'm going to have 4x plus 3 times 5x minus 8 equals 33, okay? Does everybody understand it? All I did was I took this value and I plugged it in, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I have 4x plus 3 times 5x minus 8. Now I have to use my distributive property. Whenever you have a number outside parentheses, you have to distribute it in. So you have 4x plus 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times negative 8 is a negative 24 equals 33. Okay. Then I combine my like terms. 4x plus 15x is going to be 19x minus 24 equals 33. Then I'll, uh, I'll add my 24 to the other side. Now I need to isolate my variable. So I'll add the 24 to the other side. So I get 19x equals 57. And then now I need to divide by 19. And x is going to equal 3. Right? So now I know the value of x. Now to find the value of y, I need to plug x back into one of these equations. So remember, just how I substituted in this value for y, I know now my value of x is 3. So I can plug the value of x into either one of these equations. Now, a lot of students want to plug it into this equation because that's where you plug the value of y. And it makes sense, and you can. It's just going to be a little bit more mathematical work. The reason being is, once you plug 3 in for x, now you have to solve for y. This equation is already solved for y, so I would say this would be the fastest and easiest way to solve, find the value of y. So I'll do y equals 5. I'm going to substitute in the value of x, which is 3, minus 8 y equals 5 times 3 is 15 minus 8. y equals uh, 15 minus 8 is going to be 7. So therefore, I can write it as a coordinate point if I wanted to, and my solution is 3 comma 7. Any questions? Perfect. Time. Don't walk across. Don't walk across.